Hello and welcome to a new DIY Engineers video. In this video I'll go over how to draw shapes and add text over images with OpenCV. So let's get right to it. I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi since it's part of the Raspberry Pi video series I'm doing for OpenCV. But what I'm going to say applies to OpenCV and Python in general. So I'm in the Raspberry Pi like I said, I'm in the virtual environment that I created for previous videos. So let's go ahead and create a Python script. I'm just going to go here, new file, I'm going to call this one v3r1.dot py okay to start we'll import numpy and opencv and we'll create a black image so let's do that and then to actually do the image we'll do img equals np dot zeros this is creating a number array of just zeros and then remember from the previous video remember that images are basically arrays with numbers where the height and width of the rate are the height and width of the image in pixels so for this case I'll do 512 by 512 and then the depth is just to allow to have the information that is needed to specify color by the default being BGR so blue green and red so I need three variables so I need a depth of three on my multi-dimensional array so after this all we have to do is do cv2 dot I am show we'll call this output and we'll pass the image variable and then we'll do cv2 dot weight key such that it'll display the image up until we hit a key now I forgot to add here on the zeros I'll specify comma and p dot u i n t 8 now what the u i n t 8 indicates is that it's part or that each cell in the rate is going to have an 8-bit unsigned integer which will range from 0 to 255 which as i said in previous videos that's all you need to specify how much of the blue green and red will be part of the image with 255 being the max and 0 being 0. so with this we're basically saying we're going to have an image that is 512 by 512 pixels and it will be black since we're specifying zeros for everything right we said zero so it's basically an array of this size 512 by 512 by 3 with zeros everywhere so that's a black image so let's go ahead and test it i'm gonna save it we'll do python b3r1.py let's test it All right, i guess since i imported a cv i should say cv so there it is black image let's press anything it closes so avoid future confusion i'm just gonna delete this and do the standard cv2 if i run it again again you get a black image so there it is all right, so now let's move to the next step. Let's draw a line. To draw a line, we need to specify the image we're drawing it on, the start point, the end point, the line color, and the thickness in pixels. So let's just do a diagonal that goes from 100, 100 position to 300, 300. And of course, we'll draw it on top of the black image we just started with. So all we have to do is cv2.line, parentheses, img, comma, we'll specify the starting point, 100 and 100. We said the end point will be 300 and 300. And then let's pick a color. I'm going to go with red. So we'll do no blue, no green, max red. And then let's pick a thickness of three pixels. Close that up. And I was going to go ahead and test it. Save it and rerun the same thing. And there you can see the red line. All right, good. Now let's draw a circle. To draw a circle, we need, again, the image was drawn it on, the coordinates of the center of the circle, the radius, the color, and the thickness. Note that if we enter a negative one for that thickness, it's just going to fill up the circle. So let's try that. CV2.circle, pretty intuitive, IMG. Let's do it in the very center. So we had a 512 by 512, so it'll be close to 256. 256, so that's the center. We'll put 20 for the radius. We'll say white for the color. So let's do 255, 255, 255. And again, we said we'll fill out the circle, so we'll do a negative one. Save it, and let's try that. There you go, a white build up circle. Okay, now let's try an ellipse. So to draw an ellipse, we need, again, the image we're specifying, so you can see in all these, I've been passing the IMG, right, which gets rewritten with every single last command that we run on top of it. We will need the center. We will need the major and minor axis lengths, angular orientation of the ellipse, starting and ending angular position of the line. For a full ellipse, we would start at zero and end at 360 degrees. Then we'll need color and then, of course, the thickness. So you probably guessed it, cv2.ellipse, open parentheses, 
img comma let's do this one at 100 comma 100 that's the center then we'll do minor and major axis so 100 comma 50 and those are arbitrary i'm just picking 150 then i want no angular orientation or rotation relative to default for the ellipse i'll go from 0 to 270 degrees so you can kind of see what that does and let's pick blue so 255 0 0 right this is full blue no green no red Again, it's BGR, that's the order. And then we'll do a four. Let's test that. Save. So you can see, right? It didn't do the full circle. So what happens if I do a 180 in here? Is first, let me close this. All right. Let's try that. That's 180. Now, I guess I did the axis so huge that it's kind of exit in the, the, the picture. So what would happen if I swap the 150 and the 100? Right now it's longer along the vertical direction. And what would happen if we add rotation? So in this guy, we could do a 45 degree rotation. Now, I don't know why anybody would use this, but you get the idea, right? You can draw an ellipse, change the angle, change the starting and ending position. Let's just try it now with the full 360, just so you can see it full. There it is. All right. Now let's do a polygon. Now to draw a polygon, you could just draw a bunch of lines using this line command that we tried earlier and just connecting them all. But OpenCV has a more convenient way of doing this. And that for that, we'll just use the polylines function. So we'll need to specify the image we're drawing it on, vertices of the polygon, a setting for how to join them. And we'll, we'll see that more detail later and a color of the line. So for this, we'll first define the points. It will be a NumPy array. And then for that, I'm going to start specifying the points. So I'm going to go open full array and then open sub vectors or sub, sub arrays. We'll do 150 and 400. Let's do 350 and 400, 450, 250, 250 and 50, and then 50 and 250. Close this one, comma, and then this one will be NumPy int 32. Close that. Now, I need to reshape this to get it into a set of 2D arrays that are all stacked back to back to each other in a 3D array. So to do this, we'll do points, since that's the name of the array, and we'll use reshape. We'll do a negative one, which indicates a placeholder based on, on the size that the array is, is being fed. So this will define the output. The negative one is just a placeholder since I don't know the specific number. And then we'll do one by two. And then once that's done, I can use cv 2polylines open parentheses, IMG. We'll say PTS, right? That's the array we just created. Then we'll say true. And then we'll specify color for this one. Let's just do 0, 255, 255. And let's try that. All right. Now, what happens if I go with a false? You get that. So then the question is, you could just go ahead and re-enter the last vertex or just, you know, enter true if you want to close it up. I want to close it up. So there it is. So now let's go ahead and add text. This one's pretty simple. You need to, the image again. You need to know the text you want to write, the location where you want to write it, the, the font type, the font scale, the color, thickness, and line type. So we'll do this quickly. CV2, put text, very creative. IMG, I want to write DIY ENG. Let's write it at 50 and 500. Now, again, this is specifying where the bottom left corner of the text box will go. Then we'll have to specify the font type. And we'll do the font scale and we'll do color. Let's try red again. Then the line thickness. Ah, let's just do two. And then we have to do the line type. I'll just go with cv2.line underscore double A. Close that and let's test it. All right, I'm cutting out because I did it too low. And I should probably go with blue to match my, my theme. All right, there you go. 
All right, so we'll learn how to draw shapes and write text on top of our image. This will become handy as we do more advanced work like detection and recognition where we might want to draw shapes over identified objects or write what the algorithm found. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.